Hey guys, Adam here from Kick-Ass Reviews, and tonight we're going to be reviewing the Diesel Unholy Cocktail. Um, it's a small little, I want to say robusto size cigar. It's got a nice little torpedo top, band on the foot, as you can see. Um, wrapper looks pretty good. I mean, you see some veins here and there, a little bit of seams. Uh, not a whole lot going on, but not too bad. The aroma's got a real sweet cherry quality. Same as the foot. Very nice. Right, we will slide this band off if it can come off. No problem. Let's get this one cut up. Right off the bat, I want to say it's a very nice, sweet, almost a chocolatey wood right off the bat. The draw is a little, little, just a very pinch of uh, resistance, but not a lot going on there. But wow, very sweet, very woody. Some pepper now coming over the end. Man, that's I'd, I'd like to call that full body so far. Very nice. Not a whole lot of smoke output. Then maybe it'll uh, get going a little bit as we get further into it. And boy, is that sweet right out of the beginning. Very nice. Alright, we will get more into the first third and see what we get. Alright, about 15 minutes in now. The flavors are still really nice. Very smooth. On the sweet side, getting a lot of. Um, I want to say a creaminess now. A lot of wood, a lot of sweet general tobacco. Um, a little bit of coffee now here coming in. Um, the, the pepper still washes over on the tongue on the end. Short finish, but very smooth, very flavorful. Um, the burn is not, not the best I've seen, um, but it's all right. I haven't touched it up yet. Uh, and Amy is pretty, uh, I want to say it's pretty windy tonight. I mean, there's a lot of uh, wind going on here tonight. It's a little more breezier than usual. There's actually some heat lightning over in the distance, but um, shouldn't be affected by that. Uh, so with the wind out here, it's been performing rather well. Um, so thus far, A plus on the construction, no complaints there. But the flavor's really enjoying it. Ash holds on really nicely. Um, the draw has loosened up just a little bit, so pretty happy about that. Um, very nice flavors, really digging it. Um, Pretty uh, shame that I haven't had one of these before until now. So we'll see how it progresses when we get into the second third. All right, about 35 minutes in now. The flavors have gotten, I want to say, a little darker. I'm getting a real nice dark espresso. The nuttiness is still there. A little bit of leather kicking in. Pepper wash still is coming over on the finish but a nice sweetness overall. Still full bodied, um, very smooth, very nice, very rich at this point. Um, really digging it. The ash held on to a nice third. Probably would have held on longer if I didn't accidentally bump uh, my hand, so that's whatever. Um, great flavor so far, really digging it. Um, still got about maybe, we'll probably get 30, 45 more minutes out of this. Um, and especially for this wind, I mean, it has been uh, pretty breezy out here tonight, but that hasn't stopped us from burning unevenly. Um, it, it's corrected itself. It's been pretty good construction all the way through so far. Uh, no complaints, um, but very rich, bold flavors. Really digging it. Um, really mixes well. Very nice. All right, we will see what we get as we get into the 
second, third more, and coming on to the final third. We're about 55 minutes in now. It's going a little warm and mushy now, so I'm going to call it night at this point. Uh, Flavor-wise, I'd say the, the um, not the strength, the, um, um, the body of it has gone down from a full to a medium full. Um, it's been very nice, though. Construction has been, you know, absolutely flawless. Uh, no touch-ups. Draw's been nice. Ash held on to just about every third. Flavor-wise, it's been sweet. It's been a caramel, nuttiness, a little bit of a chocolate coming in, pepper, uh, some leather. It's been very nice, very enjoyable. Um, and I'm just kind of disappointed I haven't seen these in any of my shops that I go to, so, which is a darn shame, because these are very nice. Um, probably fair price, too, so. Very good cigar. Um, wish I had these sooner, but never had the chance, so. You know, it is what it is, but it's been very good, very mellow, and um, definitely, if I ever see some more of these, I will be on the lookout. Uh, I want to thank Steven once again for sending this in. Um, we took a cigar trade a little while back, and this was one of them. Um, very nice cigar, very pleasant, very enjoyable. Absolutely love it. So uh, hopefully I can find some of these uh, in a shop whenever I go, because these are very nice. This has been the Diesel Unholy Cocktail. I'm Adam. Don't forget to comment, like, and give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.